Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2016 in Bangkok, Thailand. I've got the great pleasure of being in the ITU studio today with the His Excellency Jean Philbert Sengimana, who is the Minister for the Ministry of Youth and ICT for Rwanda. Minister, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you. It's very a pleasure to see you. Thank you for having me once again. I'd like to start off by talking about uh, the digital economy. And, and in your opinion, what's the single factor is the most important in growing the digital economy in Africa? I think leadership comes uh, on top of everything because uh, leadership defines the vision, mobilizes the people, mobilizes the resources, and uh, drive, uh, drives execution. So uh, leadership, but uh, I think the, the next most important is talent. So the leadership needs to put in place a plan for training, and especially the young people of Africa, if we're talking about the digital economy in Africa, but this is valid for everywhere in the world. And uh, thirdly, I believe that funding is important because traditional funding hasn't been working for the kind of innovation that the digital economy needs to grow. Uh, other parts of the world have found different formulas but in Africa, we are also finding our own ways to fund our tech talents. Now, Rwanda has a very active tech, SME and entrepreneur culture. What factors do you think have contributed to making it successful and, and how has the government supported uh, SMEs? So I think there's three factors that are just named, which is leadership, which is talent and which is funding, are the same exact factors that Rwanda has put in place to be able to uh, grow uh, our tech SMEs. So we started out with K-Lab, which is a knowledge lab. It's a hub, it's a place where uh, you can just come with an idea or a dream, but then you are helped out throughout the process to materialize that idea and turn it into a business that creates wealth and jobs. And from the K-Lab that is four years old, we've seen a movement of tech innovation hubs and labs, uh, some of them by universities, others by private sector, so it's an ecosystem that is uh, being put in place. And the royal government has really been to facilitate that kind of ecosystem to grow and grow faster than it would have grown without the intervention of government. Now, Rwanda is a member of the Smart Africa Alliance. I wonder perhaps if you could just tell us a little bit about that and, and why, why you feel it's important to be a member of that. Smart Africa Alliance was born in Rwanda in uh, uh, October 2013. Uh, during the Transform Africa conference, uh, President Kagame, with his uh, colleagues, uh, other six heads of state, decided to launch the Smart Africa Manifesto, which really puts ICT at the center of Africa's development strategies. So leading by example, Rwanda immediately followed up with the Smart Rwanda Master Plan 2020. And I can say that by next year, we want to offer uh, a government that is self-service, 24 by 7, paperless, and cashless. And finally, I'd just like to ask you, you're here, you've been attending ITU Telecom World very faithfully for a number of years now. I wanted to find out what's the importance of events such as this for you? What I really like about the ITU Telecom World is a flavor that comes every year. Every year is special in its own way. And what I like about this year is really the prominence, the importance that has been given uh, to uh, 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 tech startups. We've brought our own young entrepreneurs from Rwanda and the fact that uh, there is a recognition that these are the companies that are going to create the jobs and the solutions and innovations of the future and being here at the IT Telecom World is critical. Minister, thank you very much indeed for your presence in the studio today. Thank you.